Hi friends. Um, so today I'm going to do the landform map. You guys have all of the supplies. I'm going to show you what to do. Some of the things that I make today, you can make, you can follow the same thing, or you guys actually have some different landforms in your baggies. And if you're not sure how to find out what those are, remember you have the land and water book that you can go back to. You have the erosion book that you can go back to your reading workbook. Um, or remember we can Google as long as you are not using Wikipedia, you can look for your resources online. So go ahead and let's get started. I have all of my stuff out in front of me. I've told you guys that you're going to do this in steps, which is easier. Mine, I'm not going to so much do in steps because it, it would take me too long. So what I have is my frosting and the first step is blue frosting. You're going to open up your blue frosting. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with, oh, I need to see. I'm going to start with an ocean. And then I'm going to start with my river and a pond. So you look and see what you have. And you get out your blue frosting. Okay, it does not take a lot, friends. You're just going to spread blue into the parts that you want to be the ocean. My um, knife is really big, doesn't fit yours as well, so don't worry about it. It is okay if you are making a mess, that's totally fine. This is what this is. It's fun, it's kind of sloppy, doesn't have to be perfect. I just want you guys to show me what you've learned about landforms, okay? And if all else fails, you guys are free to finger paint it on. It might work better, okay? So I'm gonna make my ocean. Don't forget to have a washcloth or a wipe something near you because it will get messy. All right, so that's my ocean and I need to now make my land. So I'm gonna go to my green frosting and I'm going to make my land. And remember, you will probably allow this to dry a little bit. If I allow it to dry, it will take me days. So I just wanna do a quick video and show you guys a little bit here what we need to do. So here's some of my land. All right, now, what do I know about the ocean and the land? Well, I know that there's usually a beach there. So I'm gonna take my graham cracker and I'm gonna put some graham cracker here through the middle, scrunch it up and make myself a beach because I know that where the ocean meets the land, there can be a beach. And then out in the ocean, I know that there are things like an island. Now I have some big islands, you can use a big island, or you can use a couple of small ones. It's your choice, you can do what you want on there. Don't forget, you need little tiny fish out in your ocean. Go ahead and add some crackers there to your ocean. So now I've done an ocean with some islands. I've done my beach, and you can add as much sand if, as you want. And now I've done my land, but now I need to put some different things on my land. So I need to look and see what my supplies are and what my tags are. Ooh, I have a mountain. Oh, I know how to make a mountain. I'm gonna take one of my Hershey's Kisses and I'm not gonna put my mountain out in the ocean. I'm gonna put my mountain somewhere in the land. That mountain is going to be surrounded by some small hills and I'm gonna make some small hills. Now I know that the part between hills or mountains is a valley, so I have made a valley here as well. I can make a plateau. Now this is one you guys may not remember, may not know from your reading, so you might have to take a look and see what a plateau is. I'm gonna put my plateau here. Okay. And then something else that I want to make is a volcano. I love volcanoes. I'm gonna unwrap my other Hershey's Kiss and I'm gonna make this one a volcano. Well, what does every volcano need? <laughs> you know it. It needs to have some hot lava pouring down all over it. Now your stuff is gonna look so much better than mine because you're gonna give yourself time to do it and time to let it dry. Okay. And on that mountain, I might wanna add some white frosting because way at the tip of the mountain is gonna be super cold and there might be some snow on that mountain. Okay. 
Now I have some things that I haven't used, but that doesn't mean that you can't, okay? I have some um, small marshmallows, some big marshmallows. Those are, could be things like glaciers. Uh, I don't have to make that. If I feel like I'm done, I can be done. These are your landform maps. You do what you want. But before I'm done, I now need to put my tags on. So I need to label everything so that when you take your picture, I know what each thing is. And I'm gonna let this dry. You will let this dry. Oh, I forgot to make a river. That's okay, I'm just gonna take some blue frosting on my finger and I am gonna make a river right here. Does it matter where? Nope, it's gonna run from this plateau right over here. And it's gonna be a river or a stream. I might make a lake, could be a pond, but the river is gonna go towards the ocean, okay? So I have my plateau, I have my river, this is my ocean, I have my islands, and you can put those wherever you want there in the island. I now have a volcano, and da 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 da, I have a mountain. So this is what it is, friends. This is your landform map, okay? Yours can look like mine, or it can be completely different. You have all sorts of materials. Um, please remember, friends, even though I wash my hands with soap and water, I touched this candy, so this candy isn't for you guys to eat. Unless it's wrapped, it's safe. Um, but don't eat the candies, please. When you're all done, clean up. Take a picture of your landform map, and then upload it to Class Dojo. Or if you want, you can email me the picture as well. All right, friends, have fun. Till next time, bye.